live in the dungeon. This is the Dream Warrior Review. I'm Kurt Thomas. I'm Nick Strawn. So Jordan Downing, the guy who directed the uh, um, the critters, the critters one. one, but he also directed the turkey one. Yeah, thanks yeah, killing. Thanks yes, killing. I know. I I mentioned that. Yeah, when I found the critters documentary, I, I I mentioned that. I said he also directed Thanks Killing. Yeah, holy <laughs> wanted to get this guy on. It, it's it's really well done. Yeah, I thought it was amazing. I was like, we have to review this because the guy is obsessed. The guy who directed it, I'm forgetting his name, Jordan Downey, right. he is obsessed with Critters. He says he grew up with Critters. He was obsessed with it. He was trying to get a director's gig by doing this short film, right. which I guess I guess he didn't get. But anyway, <laughs> no, but it's done brilliantly. And, uh, and he mentioned Critters, 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 but he's giving all the credit to the director, even though it was really production design that did it, I think. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, because he was talking about the things he liked, and it was like, oh, he liked how the town was built. And I'm like, well, yeah. Hey, hello, first two. hello. Har, har. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, we have to get this guy as a guest on our show. So. Absolutely, and I agree with you 100%. And um, I'm, he sent me a, a message that said, uh, I'm just going to read you his message real quick. Hey, Mick, anyone who built Grover's Bend is a legend in my book. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just now seeing this, but if you want to find a, a time to get together and chat, let me know. He directed a movie we were, we're actually going to talk about on Thanksgiving right. with George Cameron Romero, the one and only George Cameron Romero, by the way. <laughs> we're going to talk about Thanks Killing. Thanks Killing, yes. It, it's, <laughs> Which was an early film for this guy, Jordan Downey. Uh, and uh, <laughs> I have to tell you, <laughs> he's come a long way. Oh my gosh, I couldn't believe, I mean, the growth there. Oh yeah, it was, it was amazing. I mean, uh, The Critters uh, was really, really well done, you know? And it sounded like he did it like in a weekend or he did it really really quickly, just like a group of his friends got together and just oh, did yeah, it. Oh yeah, absolutely. And and, and the, the crispness of the look of it, and it, it was at dark at night, and yet they'd still lit it so that you could see what was going on. And the critter looked amazing. And and they used the crap out of that set. Yeah, and, and the optic the optic effect of the head uh, was just spectacular. I mean, it was it was so good. I actually wanted to see it. Uh, I really was hoping it was a long. <laughs> I want to see a long version of a of one of his of, of this. So he should have gotten the director's job, I think. Right. But. Yeah, absolutely. I thought it was brilliant. Well, we'll see what we can do about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was doing some research on IMDb, and I saw that there were like there was a whole series that started, Critter series, a TV series, and there was also a movie that came out in 2019. Yeah, uh, I had heard that a movie came out. Um, we should take a look at it. I had no it, idea. It, it, <laughs> I really? Like, I no, guess I was it, clueless. It, it hasn't been out very long. I mean, yeah, I, I think it just came out. Uh, a little bit ago. Yeah, like, uh, yeah, I think so. Like over the summer, I think. So, ooh, just new projects. <laughs> 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 but all, also, we, uh, you know, talking about uh, projects and stuff that's coming up. Uh, we're gonna see if we can uh, grab us some Rob Mello. Oh, yeah. Now, is he a baby killer or was he? Did he play a baby? Oh, he's a baby face he's killer, a baby- wasn't he? <laughs> He, he's a baby-faced <laughs> killer, yes. Right, not yeah, a baby no, killer. Uh, that's you're thinking of Freddy. <laughs> you're, you're thinking of, you're right. thinking of Freddy Krueger. Well, no, they he didn't right. do babies. You know what? <laughs> We're gonna have to come up with somebody who who you know does babies. Oh wait, no, they did. <laughs> <laughs> <What's that? laughs> well, they cooked a baby in. Um, uh, oh, uh, uh, yeah, yes, uh, yeah. Don't remind me yeah, of that. That was that just. Was, uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm still, I'm still in therapy because of mother. <laughs> really, seriously, <laughs> I should be. <laughs> you know, everybody involved with that film should be in therapy. That's what I. That's what I'm telling you, right now. Every time I see uh, the actress uh, Jennifer Lawrence, I wonder, like, what happened? What? <laughs> I mean, because I know she's not, she's not with that guy anymore, the director. Yeah. The, the guy who cannot be named. Well, see, that's obviously what happened. Let's face it. 
Yeah. But uh, yeah, so she's a little bit crazy, maybe just a little crazy uh, you know, there. But I mean, you know, she's a great actress, though. Yeah, uh, Jelly Roll just uh, lead people astray all the time. You like how I like try to I bash her, but at the same time I say a wonderful thing about her. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> like, that was uh, very uh, politiciany. <laughs> <laughs> she might be a little crazy, but she's an awesome yeah, actress. That's be, all that matters. She might be crazy. <laughs> Crazy in bed. <laughs> Sorry. So, do we have anything special to say about Critters other than the this just the way he, I liked how he used this house as a set and he made it look huge and the lighting was perfect and the I, I like the mask. I like the the kind of thing he did with the mask, but he also had a lot of callbacks to the original Critters. He did, all, a, he the whole did series, a great basically. job of tension building. Uh, I guess he wrote, directed, and edited basically. Yeah, I know. Yeah, the, the, the tension, the music the tension, was great the too. The music in it. Uh, oh, he did Foley too. Foley work was pretty good yeah, too. Yeah, you know, and and, and the uh, critter points of uh, the the points of view of the camera and so forth. Uh, and there was a a little bit of humor in there. I loved it. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. And, I like how they broke away the chair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It was practical effects for sure. Yeah. And the only thing that was optical was the mask, really. Yeah, and 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 it looked good. Well, I, I watched. A, he has a series on YouTube. It's like six parts of how he did the movie. Yeah. And I actually watched them all. I was like, okay, why not? <laughs> so I watched them all. <laughs> so, uh, so was he wearing a sock <laughs> on his head? A, a green it was like sock. A green, yeah. 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 Well, actually, so here's the weird thing, and I, I really want to ask him why he made this decision because it's insane. In his behind-the-scenes thing, he said that he actually bought a white. He had a white thing, and he painted it green. They went to the hardware store and painted it green, and he said he was inhaling fumes the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> and he had to take breaths. He had to take breaks. Wow. that's. Uh, I'm like, wouldn't you just like go for like the green? Yeah, dedication. I don't know. Dedication anyway. to your craft, yeah. you know? Low budget, I guess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Been there. Done so anyway, I, I guess I'd rate it like a, I, I give it like a four point five. Really, seriously. Uh, you know what? I, I mean, it had no. It didn't really have a deep plot, but that doesn't matter because it's yeah, critters. I, 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 I could go with a, a three, three point eight. Uh, absolutely, three point eight. Uh, you know, wow. the, the thing is, is I, I don't want to go into a four with any, any short term film. Really? Yeah, just See, not, I don't mind doing don't that. Don't like short films. I I I don't. I, I figured you would because like me, you have like a short attention span sometimes. Well, what were we talking about? <laughs> 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 and actually, you've you've judged short films, which is amazing to me that you don't like them. <laughs> I I have judged them before, and and um, I just it, it, it's the thing is is it's the three. You can have a great idea, and you can build a short film around it, right? And it, it's very easy to suck up uh, 15 minutes of uh, somebody's life that way. But <laughs> right? it doesn't make you a filmmaker, and um, it doesn't necessarily make you a storyteller. It makes you um, uh, an idea man, you know? Uh well, I think this showed off his skills, though. Like, I mean, oh, I think yeah. that's what his no, plan was. I have, was to show uh, I can do this critters movie if you want I, me. I have no <laughs> doubt about that. Uh, I, I'm just saying that I, I, I would judge on on the long format. Uh, if you think that that uh, an hour plus format isn't a completely different challenge, well, you've been there before, so you know. <laughs> right. Yeah. You know you. Well, you know, I think I probably gave him a few points that kind of lingered from Thanks Killer. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> I still like Thanks Killing a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I did, well, I think I like it more the the more time it's like sitting there, you know, kind of like me thinking about it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I still love the uh, <laughs> the concept of the turkey driving the car. You know, that's something about that that just. Uh, I don't know. I just can't get the. He needs to make a leather face with turkey. A turkey wearing a <laughs> leather face. <laughs> that's my, that's that should be the project you pitched to him. Hey, I worked on Leatherface. What would you think we did a fan film oh. with a turkey 
Yeah. How cool would that be? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I think, you, I, I, you know, that's kind of uh, heavy metal. Fast forward thinking we need more of these days. Yes, yes. And we can get people like, hey, maybe we can get the people that were in Leatherface to be in the fan film. <laughs> <laughs> well, some of them should be alive. Well, well sure. Bill Butler's still alive, you know. Well, Bill Butler, of course. That's the first one we're yeah, calling. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, and he has puppet experience. Yeah, and then Kate, you know, uh, Kate Hodge. Yeah. yeah. Who, who was the other guy? Uh, why am I forgetting his name? Big Shot. He was, uh, oh, Viggo Mort- Mortensen, Mortensen, wasn't he? Yeah. 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 I don't know why I forgot his name. Got, but, you know, Gunnar Hansen uh, isn't around anymore, but uh, we still got, um, oh, who's the other guy that's played it before? And uh, it's a, it, it was a, a Friday the 13th? Kane Hodder? Kane or Hodder, is it, uh, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, Kane Hodder. He, he, he was on that, too. Oh, he was? He was, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. So... There you go. Thanks for joining us on the Dream Warrior Review Podcast. Don't forget to tell your friends about us, follow us, and, of course, like us. We can be found on Podbean, which is an amazing app, YouTube, Stitcher, Alexa on any pod, iTunes, Google Play. We're on Twitter as well, at DW Review, and, of course, Facebook. You can find us there. You can also email us at dreamwarriorreview at gmail.com.